I finally found him. This is a grave location of Bob Sheridan. You might know him as the voice of boxing ringside guy. He did many major fights such as Oh, let's see, he did Rumble in the Jungle, Ali Foreman. I remember watching that fight. I think I was 14 years old. And I'll never forget it. One of my favorite fights. Very even fight. Ali, a sneaky right hand. Another sneaky right hand. This time he worked over the shoulder of Foreman. He also did Thrilling in Manila between Frazier and Ali. He did some Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvelous, Marvelous Marvin Hagler fights, and Thomas Hearns. A member of the Boxing Hall of Fame, WBC, WBO, Colonel Bob Sheridan. I uh, ran across here, over there, I'll try to zoom up. Uh, that's a well taken care of grave. Uh, usually when I'm here, there's family members visiting and they decorate it up nicely. Our next stop's going to be a really difficult one. The wind's picked up here in Las Vegas. It's taken me about two years to become emotionally able to uh, tell you the story of the, our next visit here. Uh, this is the grave location of Tina Tinter and her dog Max. They lose their lives in a fiery crash when they're rear-ended by an NFL player for the Raiders. The player's name was Henry Ruggs. His alcohol blood level was 1.61. He's going 156 miles per hour in the streets of Las Vegas. Really sad. His bond is set at $150,000. He gets out just a few days later after the accident. Ends up getting prosecuted for drunk driving and manslaughter. Today he saved, he's serving three to ten years in a Nevada prison. Tina Tenter and her dog Max. I want to stop by briefly and introduce you to the Molineros. These were customers of mine. This is Angelo. I'll tell you their story. They were country and western singers. Sweet wife Gloria. And their son Mike. You can see the good tars engraved on the on the bench.
Angelo dies in 2003. Several years later, Gloria dies in 2014. The son Mike died in a motorcycle accident in 1991. And I'll tell you their story. Like I mentioned, they were country and western singers. Angelo's stage name was Johnny Angel. He was part of the Happy's Party as a singing cowboy on KDKA television from 19. 52 through 54. He meets and marries Gloria Brown. Her stage name is Dusty Brown. She was the lead singer and guitar player in the early 50s on the Wilkins Ranch television show on KDKA in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. Uh, this is Gloria Dusty Brown, uh, bottom left of this picture. So what happens is, one day I had an album of Buck Owens in my office, a vinyl record. So Angelo sees this and he told me, I used to be a country western singer. And he told me the story about Gloria as well. I wish I had an opportunity to meet Mike. Angelo would come in every month to pay his insurance. And he'd also bring his utility bill and show me how much it's gone up over the years. We've had great conversations. I really miss him. The code to get in is 6245 star. There we go. If anybody wants to come to Las Vegas and pay their respects to comedian Pat Cooper, he's resting right here with his wife. Uh, Pat Cooper worked the Copa Cabana room in New York City. Also, work in casino showrooms in Atlantic City and right here in Las Vegas. He makes appearances on the Jackie Gleason show in the early days and Ed Sullivan. But I remember him on the Johnny Carson show. Only in America, ladies and gentlemen. 71 years old, one week high school, and I didn't go that week. <laughs> Only in America, a man with no education. Born and raised in New York City, I own a house in Las Vegas, $700,000. Three dollars down, nine a month. <laughs> but when you get screwed in your own country, don't mean nothing. When you move from New York to Las Vegas and you're in hock, you need a water softener. I said, what's a water softener? All I want is wet water. $800, they put a tank in the garage, they fill the tank with salt, the salt goes through the pipes, that's a water softener. Now for Italians, it's good, because on Sunday morning when you boil the water for the macaroni, the salt is already in it. Only in America, ladies and gentlemen. No education. From New York City to Vegas. And my neighbor is Wayne Newton. Why do I bring this up? Because Wayne has no education either. Last year made $14 million. What did he do with his money? He bought a stallion for $13 million and they found out the horse is gay. <laughs> Next door neighbor is a professional gambler, Bill Boyd. He would participate in the World Series of Poker here in Las Vegas, uh, mainly the Golden Nugget. In fact, I think he, he got a job there managing the poker room in later days. Made a living playing poker, how about that? Make sure we get the door shut. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see who else is in here. More people coming to Las Vegas to invest their money. Come up in a great location of Jolly Brown. He's best remembered for his row 
as Whisper in a James Bond movie, Live and Let Die. This came out in 1973. He was also in the movie Beverly Hills Cop, uh, television series Perry Mason, and Laverne and Shirley. I like to take just a moment and stop by and tell you a pretty good story. James Dillon was an airline pilot for one of the major airlines. When his wife died, Susan, in 2018, he chose this area at the top and he wanted to face east. Why? Because when he would land at uh, McCarran Airport, today it's called Harry Reid Airport, he wanted to look down and greet his wife upon his approach. Our next stop today in this video is Gloria D. That was her stage name. She was the first magician here in Las Vegas. You know, they just, just didn't know if a magic act would catch on in this town, but she did well. She paves the way for Lance Burton, David Copperfield, even Siegfried and Roy. And those guys, those guys just made a gazillion amount of money down on the Las Vegas Strip. Later on, she becomes an insurance agent. So she goes from a magic act to an insurance agent. Imagine that. Man. 